Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview with some footage samples as well of this video recorder. Now, the box looks like so, it's a generic one, you probably can see ones on eBay and maybe even Amazon as well. So I decided to get one, this is one of the cheapest ones, if not the cheapest ones, and just to show you why it's not a good idea to have one, even though it is, if it is cheap and affordable. So let's start first maybe with unboxing and I'm going to go show you footage and talk about that a bit later. The box is pretty standard as you see on each side. It's exactly the same information except, except of the couple pictures. Okay, so it has 2.5 inch rotatable LCD screen, pretty much 360 degrees. It records in HD, actually even higher than HD, I believe 960p or so. Not 100% sure, it includes the car charger and all the bits and bobs uh, required, such as the rechargeable lithium battery, which I don't know how good is the quality, but it's included. Um, so yeah, let's just open the box first and show you everything what's inside. So obviously you have a recorder, which we're gonna go through a bit later. Also a little cardboard piece. In terms of extras, not too bad. You have a mini USB cable. I don't know if I can show that to you. It's not a micro USB cable, it's just a mini USB cable. Now here we have a suction cup mount for the windscreen. Just one sec, actually I'm gonna show that to you because that's quite important for some. So adjustable obviously up and down side to side and this screws that's where the camera screws on now one good thing about this is that even if you find this recorder absolutely useless you can actually get a, another camera and mount it on the windscreen using this device as well which is quite handy and this is a mini usb charger um car charger now it would be useless for most of the devices these days these days but um it's nice to have in the package if you're still gonna use this camera and also we have a manual with hundreds of spelling mistakes um, there we go starts with option number four i don't know if you can see it but basically it says press the power button which is supposed to be power button so as you can see not much thought was put into building this device and um, i wouldn't assume that support would be any better all right so for device itself that's how it looks like it has a rotatable screen. It's already on actually. I switched on probably by mistake. So let's try to power it off. There we go. It has a rotatable screen. So as you see, 360 degrees, give or take. And before I go around with the buttons and the tripod mounts and everything else, I'm gonna show you quickly the footage. Now, as you see, footage is running 720p. So I'm showing it natively. So if you have a 1080p monitor, this is how you would see it. Now for the day run, I had 13.2 um, megabits per second. And for the night run, I had 11.4 megabits per second um, speeds, recording speeds. Um, so quality, as you'd assume, wouldn't be the best. It would be comparable to the one of the cheapest ones, pocket um, cameras. And um, also it doesn't record audio, which is also a disappointment. And at night you can't really see much as you see from the videos here. Now, back to the actual device. If you're still interested, I'm gonna show you what's inside. So obviously you have a battery. Now to me, it looks like a Nokia battery, or at least a knockoff Nokia battery, BL5C. So if you have old Nokia phones lying around, this might be useful. Now, the battery is 3.7 volt, 1020 milliampere hours, and it's a lithium battery according to the science uh, made in China. I don't know how good is the battery, but it does work, so that's the main thing. That's supposed to be the speaker, I presume and also maybe a microphone port or maybe that's a microphone port however i couldn't record any audio 
So I don't know whether it's just a faulty um, device that I have or simply not great at recording audio. You have a uh, front lens. And as I mentioned um, before, the LEDs there for a night recording. Now, night recording would be only useful indoors and not in the car because these are light up the area, but obviously not that big of an area. So if you're using it at night, won't be much help. So when it says night mode, take it with a grain of salt. Now here we have an SD card slot. Sorry, an, uh, my mistake. Here we have an SD card slot. And it's a normal SD card. And I think it also takes MMC cards, if I'm not mistaken if you're still using them. And here we have a mini USB and also we have a HDMI out. So I presume the same kind of case is used for more expensive maybe device as well that runs maybe at 1080p and also has a HDMI out. This one doesn't. Here you have on off button and record button which also strangely enough acts as OK button in the menus. And you have audio or video out. And now um, I'm going to put Zoom H1 record and Tascam um, audio recorders to shame, which costs about six times more than this device and records just audio and have a plastic port for the tripod mount. This one has a metal port. So there you go. That's a good thing to have. Now, when you open up the device, you have menu down, up and mode buttons. And basically when you power on the device, it's meant to be operated kind of upside down like a cam or more or less where here as I mentioned before you'd be sticking the windscreen suction cup and mounting on the windscreen and it'd be hanging like so it says card error because there is no card at the moment now the menus are simple we go to the menu here we have a size choice so as I said before this is an okay button and these are the sizes that you can have so you can have up to 960p or 480p up to yourselves and here we have a, a white balance and the timestamp and all other functions which most of them I haven't used. And here we have the language and whether you want to beep on or off. See if we have anything else. USB mode disk drive which works fine but slow because it's a USB 2.0. And also you have mode for PC cam which I couldn't use because it needs drivers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Mode, um, this takes pictures, five megapixel pictures. Haven't tried that. And I don't think I would need that because quality is not great. No file because there's nothing on the card and this is your standard recording. Um, as for the battery life, uh, it was okay. It lasted about an hour and a half, which most of you who heard about the GoPro at this stage knows that this is pretty nice for video recorder but nothing unusual so let's sum it up now for those who listen to the end or simply skip to the end um, my conclusion about this recorder should you buy one if you are buying it for what it's used for which is a hd recorder for the vehicle recording no you should not because one the quality is not great whether it's a day or night you couldn't see anything Two is just not reliable. So in case of an accident, I don't know if anything that you recorded, if you recorded would be of any use anyway in court or with your insurance company. So that pretty much voids this device for what is built for. Now, the only good points what I saw was not even anything to do with the operation of device, which was the tripod mount was made of metal, which is very nice. And the actual suction cup can be used for the devices as well. So that's a plus point. It was certainly interesting to try because um, this is the, the cheapest device on the market, or at least one of the cheapest devices on the market. And it does work, um, but as I said, I wouldn't rely on it. And as mentioned before, I wouldn't recommend it to you guys. Simply, if you want something a bit more powerful and actually reliable, buy a simple pocket camera, buy a, some sort of a suction cup mount or something like that for the vehicle and just keep recording that way. The only obviously disadvantage of devices like that is you can't record while you're charging, whether with this one, I suppose you can, but I haven't tried that function as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video somehow helped you to look at the dreadfully bad video of this recorder. 
and to I help you I helped you to decide not to buy it and not for recording your car footage anyway and thanks for watching if you liked the video click the like button and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them at the comment section down below I'll be sure trying to answer them all and uh, yeah have a nice day